We thank you. It's been nearly 24 hours now since a Greenville County deputy shot and killed a man in the Poe Mill community about 545 yesterday on 3rd Avenue. Deputies say they responded to a disturbance call involving Jermaine Massey, and today his family is talking only to 7 News. We bring in now Aaron Rogers, who's live on 3rd Avenue tonight. So, Aaron, what is the family saying? Well, Amy, this is the house where Massey lived with his fiance and three kids, and they say everything happened in this backyard. A pigskin stained with memories. They used to play football in the yard. I mean, who is he going to do that with now? The ball was five-year-old Jamil's Christmas present from his dad, Jermaine Massey. I love my three wonderful kids. But the laughs were stifled last night when deputies shot and killed Massey. We were standing right over there, um, me and both of the kids, and we seen it. Deputies say they were called out for a disturbance, but couldn't say what kind. They say they were met with Massey. Who had a knife? It almost turned into kind of a dance, where the gentleman would go one way uh, with the weapon, and they would try to go back the other way uh, to avoid him. Uh, and that's when they deployed less lethal options um, that unfortunately failed. They say he charged them, and they shot. But Massey's fiance, Tiffany Copeland, told me that account leaves a lot of questions. All of my knives in my house are accounted for, and so I'm trying to figure out what knife he had. You know, if he called 911, what did he say? She also says he was on crutches. He had been, I guess you could say, a little depressed. Um, he had hurt his leg. He was out of work. But says he had always been a good man and father. Hey, poo poo. Look, say hey. Say hey. And beyond the blue lights, a family is left broken. There's no him. You know, when I wake up, he's not there. And when I go to sleep, you know, I normally went to sleep on his chest. He's not. He's not there. We do know the officer involved has been placed on paid administrative leave. We also know that the state law enforcement division is still investigating. Live in the Poe Mill community in Greenville County, I'm Erin Rogers, 7 News. Erin, let me ask a couple of questions here. The 911 call that she referenced, is that available for us to be able to hear? And what about body camera footage in this case? Absolutely, Amy. So I asked the sheriff's office for both of them as well as the state law enforcement division. Of course, the sheriff's office says that they cannot release either of those until their internal investigation as well as the sled investigation is complete. Amy? Aaron Rogers, live. Thank you.